welcome back. I'm Monica from LA Parks. Today, I'm with Channel 35 and I'll be teaching chair circuit. What you'll need is a sturdy chair, a resistance loop band if you have one, a light set of dumbbells, water, and a towel. Let's get started with heel taps in place. Now, if you do not have access to weights, that's perfectly fine. You can use canned goods, water bottles that are completely filled. Arms straight up, reach and pull straight down. Switching that heel tap forward to a slight diagonal here. Transitioning when you're ready, ready into that step touch, heel tap action. Working off time, not reps today. Pace yourselves along the way, kick it up, take those necessary breaks, toweling off, hydrating. In 10 seconds, we're going to go into a side tap, arms overhead and reaching here, opening up. Can't stress enough to always listen to your body before you listen to me. Any of the movements that we do, standing up, you can do seated. Same thing with the resistance loop band. If you do not have one, that's perfectly fine. You could still mimic the movement without the band. Last few seconds. Reaching for those toes, hips, and the stars. So you're here, toes, knees forward, toes, hips, stars. Repeat, hips and toes. Moving at your own pace, feel free to pause. Holding on to these stretches as long as you need to. You can always pause center by pushing those hips forward for that stretch. Moving at your own pace, we're here for about 30 seconds. Looking good. Making sure you are exhaling, breathing in, cleansing breath, breathing into the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Last few here. Straightening out our legs, coming straight up towards the sky, ceiling here. You got it, hands at the hips. As you lift that leg up, lean back a little bit, squeezing your abs just a little bit tighter, exhaling through the mouth at the top. You got it. 15 seconds, we'll switch it up. We'll have a seat and go right into that march. Get ready, ready. Racing to that core, well on that stretch of the lower back, hamstrings as well. Good job. Feel free to shake it out here. Arms and legs. Carefully have a seat. March it out. In terms of your equipment, your canned goods, water bottles, your light set of dumbbells, whatever you're using today, make sure you keep them off to the side, maybe underneath that chair if you have the space. So when you're ready, ready, make sure you are set up so that your weights are nice and close to you here. Twenty seconds. We'll be switching it up. We're gonna round that back, reaching for the floor. Yes, you want to come down as far as you can. Pick up that pace, increase your range. Last few seconds here. Really pump it out. Here's four. Breathe. Last two. Good job. We're gonna round that back. Come down and up. Walk the legs feet in. Rounding that back, feel the stretch of the back, squeezing those abs in nice and tight. Nice and slow here. Take your time. Shift your hips back a little bit. You do not want to tip or tilt your chair forward. Lean back just a little bit. Once again, really squeezing those abdominals here. You want to keep them engaged the entire time a little bit tighter when you come down. Last 15 seconds. So how are we going to increase the intensity of this movement today? We're gonna to incorporate that resistance loop band, placing that band on our thighs. 
Good job. We're going to grab our light set of dumbbells. Palms in. We're going to alternate our full range of motion. Shoulder presses. That weight arm comes all the way down, going right into that full extension, alternating at your own pace here. Checking in, you want to keep the wrist straight. Options here, you could stay here. You could sit for the back if you like. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Drive that knee up, resist on your way down. Pause, slower on your way down, 20 seconds to go. Beautiful. A little bit of coordination. Working legs, hips, abs, shoulders, triceps back. Oh, yeah. With that elbow coming all the way down right along the side of the body here. Obliques. Last time each side. Beautiful. Once again, weights off to the side out of your way. Going right back to that march. Bigger movements here. Swinging those arms forward and back. Really driving those knees up. Moving with a purpose here. We'll be switching it up for 30 seconds or in 30 seconds. We're gonna go into a cross punch. Corner to corner and go back to rounding our back and tapping the floor. Compound move. Get ready, ready with me here. Switching it up in 10 seconds. You got it. Four. Breathe. Last two. And time. Check it out. So you're going to cross, punch, four, four. Round that back. Tap out, tap in. Round that back. Tap out, tap in. Cross, punch for four. Tap, tap. Not once, but... Twice, yes. This is where those wrist weights will come in handy, yes. The beauty of fitness. Today's workout, most of my workouts, I always prefer to work off time versus reps. Moving at your own pace. Slow it down. You can always kick it up, pick it up. Less than 10 seconds here. We're going to go right back to the resistance training with those dumbbells. The next time we come back to this movement, we'll be incorporating, we'll be adding that resistance loop band. Good job. All right, let's grab that weight. Switching it up, you'll be using one dumbbell. You are always welcome to doubling up. If you just have a light set, we're going to come up. We're gonna go into a row tricep kickback exercise. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Shoulders relaxed. Row, tricep kickback. Try to keep that wrist straight and return. Nice and slow here. Hand on the chair for support. Try not to lean. Same thing, seated. You scoop forward just a little bit. Mimicking the same exact movement. Back, tricep focus here, yes. Check in, relaxing those shoulders. Last time here, feel free to shake it out if you like. Other side. Few seconds to set up. Switching side, switching hands if you're seated, yes. Same exact combo, back and triceps. Head and neck align with the spine. So get out of that situation where you are dropping the chin to the chest or are you looking up at me? You wanna look slightly ahead at an angle so that you have your head and neck aligned with that spine. You got it. Last few seconds here. Really squeeze those muscles. Arm work, back work. If you're in this lunge, leg work, you got it. Two more. 
Ready, ready for that cardio resistance band. Push. Yes. All right. Once again, take that weight or that set to the floor. Because if your weight's light enough, you can always hold both at the same time. I'm making reference to dumbbells. Not canned goods, water bottles. You just go heavier if you can. All right. I can't stress enough. Listen to your body. Adjust as needed. You can do any exercise without any equipment. What matters is that you are moving. Yes. All right. Cross punch for four. Abs. Arms. Tap, tap, tap. Ooh, for that resistance on that band. Out and in. You got it. So the challenge here, I don't want to close my legs completely and want to keep that tension resistance on my legs. Beauty of fitness, you can always switch it up. Take that break in between with your punches. Legs closed, yes, here's that break. Then add that resistance on that tap. Can't stress enough, there's always different options in kicking up that intensity, taking those breaks, adjusting so that you're not completely stopping, but making it a little bit easier by adjusting that specific move. Last 20 seconds, let's go. Last time here, taking a break on that band. Yes, please. Good job. All right, band off. And that wasn't even 45 seconds, was it? All right, we're gonna go right back to those dumbbells. Once again, it's a little bit lighter. Grab both, otherwise, stick with one. You're gonna use the opposite hand for assistance if you need it, yes? We're going to stand up. We're going to add that press again. Carefully have a seat. Yes, we're going to stick with that same side. If you are mirroring me, we are rocking that left arm. Yes. You got it. Quick in and out. 30 seconds on this side, and we will switch. I can't stress enough, if coming up is too much, just keep that shoulder press, yes? Last two here. Getting ready to switch. Feel free to take that quick break, quick shake, yes? Other side. Good job. Excellent all the way through. Stand up, breathing out, right into that press combination. So yes, when you are incorporating a shoulder press, what I do want to see is that full arm extension, yes? Looking good. Last three reps. Pushing off toes and heels, legs, feet are forward just a little bit. Last one, who's ready, ready for cardio? Switching it up, mixing it up, good job. Taking that weight off to the side, underneath your chair. Only because we brought this out today, we're gonna use it. You're like, Monica, what are we doing first, please? It's okay, I'm big on watching preview before you do. Good old fashioned march. Utilizing the band, yes? So can you hear the music? Can you catch the beat? Yes. Smaller movements, yes, quicker, quicker pace. Quick in and out, lean back. Drive those knees up a little bit higher, it's a toe tap. Good job, give me 10 more seconds. Challenge, challenge, try to keep that same tempo pace. Good work, good work. 
we're going to incorporate that combination we did a moment ago with the band. It's the cross punch for four. Round the back just a bit. Really tap the floor, or you're going to come down as far as you can, yes? Resist it, so let's get it. Out and in. Let's get it. Come on. Beautiful. Four and two. Let's go. Hello. Where are you feeling this? Definitely in the glutes. Come on. Last time. Right back to resistance training. Band off. Woo. Don't mind if I do. All right, incorporating chest and biceps. We're gonna split them up. 30 seconds a piece, weight coming right at about chest level so that weight come toward, your weight comes towards me, straight back and down, yes. Forward and back, nice and slow. Exhale as you bring your weight towards me, breathing in as you pull back. Almost a two count, slow and steady right here neutral flat back sitting up nice and strong two more reps last one here good job all right we're gonna take that weight bringing that arm right on in here full extension you want to lengthen here you're gonna come all the way up Thirty seconds each side. We'll repeat that push forward, acknowledging our pecs, chest here, right back to our biceps. Two more reps. Good job. Other side. Breathing into the nose. Exhale on that lift. Full range of motion, enough to feel that flexion at the top. Definitely going into that straight arm, stretching out your biceps, setting up for your next repetition. Last few reps, just three more. I don't think I said it yet. Did I say it yet? Nope. Squeeze the muscle group never the weight. Take it out. Ready, ready. Right into that push forward. Push, push, push. Resist. Two counts. You definitely can pause on that extension. Primary chest. Hey, triceps. Shoulders. Draw the elbow straight back. Work in the back as well with a chest focus. Pushing straight out. Resist, resist. Does not matter if you're holding on to five, ten. Is it one pound? No shame. A little goes a long way. One weight, one pound, one rep at a time. Last rep here. Get ready, ready for those biceps. Good job. We're gonna switch it up, going right back to cardio in one minute. Let's go. Keep it up. Need to take a grip break. You are welcome to, yes. Weight comes down. Look at those fingers. Shake out that wrist, going right back into it. Last two here. 
Good job. Shake it out if you like in between. Otherwise, we're going to go right into it. Other side, other arm. 30 seconds. Let's lift. Beautiful. We are almost at the finish line. Get ready, ready for cardio here. Last few minutes of work. We're gonna transition into our cool down and stretch. Last three reps. Good job. Once again, carefully take that weight off to the side, underneath that chair, out of your way. All right, switching it up for the cardio push. We're gonna eliminate the band for right now. We're gonna go into that side step that we did earlier in the warm up when we were standing up. So you're gonna have that option. If you would like to stand up right now and incorporate the side taps with that arm, same leg, same side, you are welcome to. Otherwise, you are seated here with me. Switching it up, you're gonna increase your range of motion. Arm overhead, really squeezing those obliques, those abs. 40 seconds, let's work. Kick it up. Finish off, you're about halfway on this move. Leg extensions, strengthening your quadriceps and those knees. Feel free to shake it out with or without your loop band. Quickly demonstrating without first, just in case. We're gonna go into that full extension, right or left leg, maybe the side that needs a little bit more love, that's probably not as strong and you're just going to lift that leg up as high as you can. Bring it down, not all the way down, but come up and lift. Almost like a pulsing movement. So it's gonna be a little bit different with that band, that extra resistance, okay? So if you're like, yeah, I wanna try the first couple of seconds or repetitions with the band, right? Then I'm gonna take it off safe space that's perfectly fine shoulders relaxed lift that leg up right back down neutral flat back or if you like to scoot back a little bit more and rest completely back here you are welcome to we're just here for 30 seconds really lift really engaging the top of your legs here your quads so you want to think about bringing your knee to your hips. Last few reps. Give me four more here. Here's four. Excellent at the top. Three, two. Good job. Other side. Making that quick transition. Feel free to do a quick massage or shake. Other side. 30 seconds is your time. So this is one of those fun movements where you can incorporate or switch up and do reps, it might be 10 repetitions, 20 if you're feeling extra strong. The key is controlled movement with or without that band. Controlled movement is key. This is it, last few seconds. We'll shake it out with light, light cardio and go right into our stretches. Finish off here. If you're feeling your abs as well, guess what? You're definitely doing it right. Really engaging, shoulders relaxed. Last two reps here. And time, good work. All right. Extra high fives around. If you kept that band the entire time, because this is no joke, right? All right, little march. You can do those taps that we did earlier just for a few seconds, deep inhale up. Exhale, push out, release. 
Great job today. Breathe and reach. Exhale. We're going to scoot forward without tilting that chair. Arms behind you. Open up. Draw those hands straight back and down as you gaze up. Drop the head to the right or left side. Center, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale a little bit further, deeper into the stretch. Other side on the stretch. So you want to feel the stretch right along the side of the neck. Dropping those hands back and down. Good work. When you're ready, you're ready. Carefully release, we're going to pull away. Palms face you. Chin to chest. Center, breathing in. Exhale. Bring those hands towards that back wall. Great work. Carefully release. Come on up for the hip flexor stretch. Launch position as we did earlier. Flex your range. This might be more than enough. Like Monica, don't do too much right now. Otherwise, bring it on down. Because you can. It's one of those you do not know unless you try. And this is why your chair is next to you. If you need that assistance to come up, right? Flex your options. Couple of deep breaths here, tucking that tailbone under. Thank you, hip flexors. Always, even when they're not moving, right? Shake it out, other side. Breathing in. Tuck that tailbone under once again. Flex your range of motion. So you're either here, this is more than enough. I'm good, we're good. Otherwise, come on down. Stay still. It feels good to rock gently forward and back. Well done. Carefully make your way back up. Hamstrings, toes, knees forward, breathe and lengthen. Exhale, fold that body in half, yes. Touching your shins, toes, the floor. Crown of the head to the floor, gently shake your head, yes, no, maybe so. Side to side, do what feels good. Bend those knees a little bit. Carefully roll up like a rag doll. Shake it out, arms and legs, we're gonna have a seat. Finish off seated. All right, you're gonna extend your right or left leg. Opposite hand, opposite leg, breathe in. Exhale, come on down. So quick disclaimer, breathing in, exhale, opposite leg. If you haven't done this before, maybe in a while, you might be sore. The key is to keep coming back. Share this workout with a friend, a neighbor. Comment. Yes. Let us know what you think about these workouts. What you would like to see more or less of. Album pose. Let's go. Gently press onto that thigh. Or you're going to come forward if that feels better. Yes. Ankle mobility, point flex, rotate, rotate, other side. Any of these stretches, you need to do a little bit longer. 20, 40 seconds is fine. Rotate, rotate, point flex, gently press. You're gonna come into that forward stretch. Do what feels good when you're ready, ready. You're gonna carefully release. Deep inhale up. Exhale, I appreciate you all. You rock. <laughs>